Alrighty guys, welcome back to another video here on the Back to Beta server. And I've created a bud switch, as you can see. Uh, if you guys don't know what this is, it's basically like a, uh, I don't know, like a quick pulse. I demonstrated that in the wrong place. <laughs> uh, it basically, like, if you give this uh, piston an update, it sends a, a quick, uh, quick little pulse out. It's kind of like an observer. Um, yeah, pretty cool. And uh, yeah, I, I sort of found something out the other day that um, I didn't know previously, which is um, if you have a, uh, what is this, a jukebox, music box, whatever. Um, if you have one of these and you put a record in it and take it out, it makes a pulse, which is kind of cool. So you can essentially have like a lock and key, I guess. Um, in beta Minecraft, which is cool, like, you know, you need a music disc in order to, to activate whatever kind of redstone you want. And I thought this would be a really cool way to make a, uh, a piston door, is that you need a music disc to actually open the door. Um, so, I'm thinking of, on the other end of the stadium, um, Ryan built, um, a sphinx, and I have recently connected my rail all the way to that end of the stadium. So I'm thinking of actually doing that on the other side of the stadium um, using this little fun trick here. Now, if you're wondering, um, note blocks where you right click them and that makes a little doom, you know, um, that doesn't work. I've tried other things and yeah, it doesn't work. So this is the only real way to do it, which is kind of cool. And, and um, music discs are kind of hard to come by. Um, I sort of found out the other day that for some reason, I don't know whether it's a multiplayer beta thing or whether it's a server side thing, um, like, you know, just of our server. Um, creepers don't drop music discs when they're killed by skeletons, as far as I have found in my testing. So the only way to get music discs is in dungeons. So they're kind of rare, and uh, yeah, if you don't have one handy, um, you know, you can't open this door. So I'm going to go build that, and I'll show you what it looks like when it's done. Alright, so here we are at the Sphinx. Uh, for those of you who don't know, this is the back of the stadium. Um, our village is over there. Um, Gory is over there. And yeah, Ryan built this Sphinx a while back, which I think is really cool. It's got like a pig face, um, but it's like, you know, kind of like the real life Sphinx. And it's built into like a naturally generated hill, which is kind of cool. Um, but yeah, I needed a way to get back and forward from my storage area because very soon I'm going to start expanding my village. You can see just the little outskirts of it there. I'm going to start expanding it out this way. You can see I've got pathways sort of uh, lining the desert a little bit. So yeah, this is all going to become uh, built up at some point. So yeah, I need a way to get back and forward from here. So yeah, here we go. We walk up to the Sphinx and there's this inconspicuous little block here totally can't even tell <laughs> um but yeah who's who's gonna have a, a you know who's gonna have a, a music disc on them um and yeah you put it in and nothing happens awesome why did nothing happen okay some technical difficulties and redstone modifications later we actually have it working now so if i put this in bang there goes our door it opens up and then when you flick it again, there we go, it closes up. So yeah, pretty cool contraption here. Um, when you put it in, yep, it all opens up. And if you walk through here, there's even a button here that you can close it behind you. And it doesn't break anything as well. You can go about your business and, you know, go through your minecart rail and stuff and come back up here. And yeah, if I am ever traveling from uh, my base to here, I'll usually keep the record disc in the uh, the jukebox, I think, or I can leave it in here, I'm not sure. But uh, yeah, I can open this up, walk out, very cool, and if I have to go do something, take my record disc, and it closes up. So yeah, pretty, pretty cool little contraption here. Um, I can show you sort of what's going on. I'm going to put this in here and actually turn down the music. It's the one drawback. Wait, why is it so loud? Wait, what? <laughs> the music... The music is not linked to the sound. Huh? Let me try this again. What is happening? <laughs> I've broken the game. Wait, what? What happens if I...
That is so weird. I don't know what the hell was going on there, but I lost my record disc. That's all I know. <laughs> Alright, maybe if I start with my sound turned off. Okay, cool. If I start with my sound turned off, it works. That was the weirdest little glitch. Alright, but let me take you through the redstone back here. It's a little bit uh, messy. Um, I'll try and explain it as best I can. It's kind of hard. Um, this right here that I'm standing really close to, this is the bud switch. So this is what's connected to the um, jukebox like I showed you at the very start of the video. Um, I'm taking the output from this uh, redstone torch. I probably should have taken it from this block. It would have made things maybe a little bit easier, but um, that's alright. This works. Uh, outfit, output from this redstone torch comes down here, and then um, it basically when that turns off, this quickly turns off turn this torch on, um, powering this, and then this goes up and down really quick, which then activates this uh, um, piston here. And if I remove this block, so basically what it's going to do is um, quickly power this piston to leave this block here. And there you go, you can hear the doors activate and then deactivate when they get put, when it gets pulled back. Um, this redstone line here that's attached to this piston is my button, which is coming from a... Uh, T flip flop right here. Um, the button is attached to this one, and yeah, I think I've shown this off in a tutorial before as well. But yeah, basically a T flip flop, um, which means you can press the button and it will just extend that piston there like that, and that'll close the door here, which is pretty cool. And yeah, basically all of the. Why did that not work? There we go. For some reason the button didn't work. Uh, all of the piston activation timing is all just the rest of this stuff um, out and about here. So, yeah. not I mean, It's not too hard, not too difficult redstone, but it probably just looks a little confusing because of the way it's laid out. It's just spaghetti redstone. I haven't refined it at all, but I don't know. It works. That's all that matters. So, uh, yeah, basically, I can come and go as I please, take my record disc, and it closes up, and then I can work out here without having anyone know uh, where my little secret entrance is, apart from all the people that watch this video. So, uh, yeah. Okay, so I was just looking over that footage and I realized I could make this a little bit simpler. Um, I just got rid of the T flip-flop, so now the button goes directly into a redstone line, which um, activates another one of these piston thingies, which I, again, can't remember the name of, what the hell. Um, and that goes into this uh, piston here. So um, that way, like, the door's a bit more, like, foolproof and will, you know, open and close properly whenever I want it. So, yeah. Alright, but as you guys have probably worked out, I've been having an absolute blast building up the train station and all the railways that go to spawn and under the under the base and around the place, all of that, it's been a lot of fun. So, I'm not done with my rails because I looked over at my neighbor's uh, builds over here, Gory. He's been building like an absolute maniac. Uh, yeah, hopefully he comes out with a video showing off everything he's done because, man, it is insane. But... You saw that. I'm going to just quickly climb up here uh, so we can actually get a good view of it. Okay, so as we get up here, you can see his place. Yep, he's been doing heaps of building, which is crazy. But you'll see this sky tower and pillars here. The, the, that's actually a sky rail, so you can actually get up there and it's basically a railway that goes all the way around his base and you can kind of look down and see um, all of the things he's built. And I don't want to build a sky rail like that because I think it... I mean, it looks cool, but I, yeah, I don't want to do that in my, in my space. But I was thinking it would be really cool to have one going all the way around the stadium here, like across the top of this. That way you can, you know, ride across, look out at Gory's, and then over at the, uh, the village we've been working on as well. So I think that would be really cool. Um, I'm going to need to do a little bit of modification to this, uh, this wall here, but otherwise I think it should be pretty easy. Um, so yeah, I'm going to... I'm going to do this up, and yeah, I'll show you when it's done, basically. Okay, so pretty soon after, we have our rails in place, and uh, yeah, pretty expensive. <laughs> Had to use a ton of rails, and yeah, obviously a ton of powered rails, but I think it's definitely worth it. So you get in, and you press these buttons, and yeah, you get a cool view as you uh, rise up the, uh, the side of the wall. 
And this is really cool because you get a really cool view of the inside of the stadium and also Gory's place and then eventually on that side you get to see the stadium. But Gory's place is really cool. I love this wall he built. I don't think I've uh, shown this off enough how cool this is. But uh, yeah, really detailed, insane building from Gory. But uh, yeah, I'm zooming along the minecart. I feel like uh, this 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 makes minecarts feel slow. <laughs> Um, I wish I wish they were a little faster, but at the same time, I don't know, I kind of like that they're slow as well. They kind of, uh, I don't know, let you enjoy, they teach you not to, to, to rush so much, I guess. But yeah, this is where we'll be expanding to, hopefully soon, is the Sphinx we were working on earlier. Very cool. And then we turn into, uh, into our area, our village area that we've been working on, which is really cool. And yeah, you get to also look in the stadium, so yeah, hopefully as we spend some more time building up the stadium, it'll look, you know, you'll have more to look at as well. Very cool. Alright, we're coming in now. I need to break that up and make that a bit more abandoned but yeah you come down this looks really cool too and then you finish up down at the bottom again so yeah you can ride it either way as well this cow wants he wants some you can ride it either way it doesn't matter which way you choose to but yeah just a cool little extra extra thing you can do i think um just being able to to ride on the on top of the stadium now so yeah Alright, but there's one more thing I want to achieve in this video, which is going to be out behind the train station, out this way. We've recently started some small expansions out this way. You can see Captain Cat's railway uh, that I built, Greffin's place, Pepper's place, uh, and yeah, this is a brand new project that has been underway. This has been done by Mr. Saturday. If you haven't been watching his videos, definitely check it out. Um, he's been building uh, like a madman over here and digging like a madman too. Um, but you'll see that this is not Mr. Saturday, this statue, that this is actually Pepper um, in statue form right here. Um, and that's because Mr. Saturday elected Pepper the mayor of the town without, I think, Pepper's consent. <laughs> so yeah, Pepper is uh, the, uh, the mascot of this town. Um, without even having to do anything. So yeah, he got elected, and uh, yeah, congratulations, Pepper. You'll see he's also pretty cheeked up, um, because you can't have a mayor that isn't cheeked up. So yeah, that's kind of lit. But yeah, I thought, hey, this uh, this guy needs a this uh, this guy needs a flag. He needs to hold a flag. This town needs a flag that they can uh, they can stand and fly under. Um, now, obviously, I haven't asked. Mr. Saturday for permission on this because I couldn't be bothered and uh, yeah we'll see how it turns out I think I think it'll be fine <laughs> um, it's not gonna be anything crazy obviously you could always change it but uh, I thought I thought I'd just add a little flag to to Pepper's hand here now I don't know where do you hold things in your hand in Minecraft you sort of hold it you sort of hold it in your like in between the two pixels there but it's kind of more on the outside, isn't it? I'm going to put it on the inside, though, because I feel like that'll probably look uh, correct. And is it one pixel up? Yeah, it's one pixel up. So I feel like I feel like maybe here or this one. I feel like maybe this one. We'll see what it looks like. Uh, and I'm going to be using Crash Labs because I think that'll go with the aesthetic, but I think it'll also look a bit more, um, I don't know, formal. Uh, let's go out by five blocks on this side, and then we'll go out this way. Uh, let's bring it out even further. Screw it. Yeah, we'll bring it out here. I think that works. Alright, let's see how we go. Okay, so I finished the flag, and originally I my first thought was to have it be white and brown so obviously this is Pepper's mustache but I'm looking at it now and I don't think it looks that good I think we can do much better than this so I'm gonna grab some wool and I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna change this up a bit all right although it's a little bit harder to see with the rain I think this does look a lot better it encapsulates uh, Pepper's skin way better I think with the uh, the suit and tie and then his mustache coming over the top. I think this is a much better choice. So I'm thinking of building another one of these on top of this uh, train station, which I, 
I think is the only other structure here right now. Um, and yeah, and then I'm happy to call that, you know, call that done. Okay, now I'm thinking because uh, from side on you can kind of see this flag pretty well, it's probably good if you're looking from over here to have a flag that flies this way, but the problem is Pepper is kind of in the way of that flag. So maybe instead of putting it on top of this uh, this build, maybe we could just have have it behind. Maybe there's a flagpole behind this train station and just going up and over it maybe. And there's like a little monument at the front. Who knows? Let's uh let's maybe let's play around a little bit. Now like I said, I've got zero permission from Mr. Saturday to do this, but I don't know. I feel like this will be funny. So one, two, three, four. Uh let's maybe let's I'm gonna assume the road is maybe three wide. And then maybe another rail and then Maybe some grass of some kind, and then maybe the monument can be like here. So maybe something like this. Um, I just went, I just went up onto the hill that he's been mining and, and mined some some stone as well. This is so scuffed. It's just a scuffed off the off the cuff, random little project we're doing right now. Uh, one two, is that six? One two three four five six. One two three four five six. Okay, cool. Uh, and maybe we can have a platform in the middle here, something like that. Uh, yeah, because he's kind of built this uh, this build of his on an even number, which rookie mistake. So now we're gonna have to do this pole on an even, which is gonna be weird. Unless is that even over here? Maybe we could put it in this. What's this? Here we go. Maybe we could do this. Yeah, okay, maybe we could put the pole here. Alright, this is going to be the worst part, is actually building up the uh, the pole itself. How high should it be? One, two... Maybe just to the line of the roof. One block higher than the line of the roof. I feel like this height might be fine. Let's go one higher, and then this is where... Oh, there's my black wall. We'll go there, like that, maybe. Like that, yeah, okay. And then we can build it sideways. Like that, okay. Uh, so now I just gotta remember what I did. <laughs> uh, where's my where's my wool and stuff? I think this one should have like a wave in it too. I'm thinking maybe like just above halfway. It could have a wave in it. Yeah, let's do just above halfway. Maybe like the end block can still be, yeah, I think let's do that. All right, so what do we want? That, that, black, 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 black. Oh, I want the black to go back in front. I think that'll look good. We'll see, who knows? Maybe it all looks bad and I need to move it up or down by one, who knows? Okay, this might be a little bit of a mess, but who knows, maybe it looks good. <laughs> Mr. Saturday wants to tear it down. He gets some free, uh, free wool out of it. So, all right. I think I should probably make this monument a little more substantial. But for now, let's have a quick look at, uh, look at what it looks like from a distance. Ooh, yeah, it's <laughs> maybe a bit low. <laughs> maybe it's a bit low. Frick! I don't have to redo it, but I have to. Yeah, okay. I'm thinking it probably needs to go up another... Maybe it's there. Maybe another... Five blocks. Six... Seven blocks, maybe. Alright. Let's have a look. I think I put it up about seven-ish blocks. Yeah, that looks way better. Okay, nice. That looks much better. I wonder if it should be a little, like, thicker, but I don't know, I kind of like that it's like a long flag. Yeah, that looks really good. I like that. Yeah, and you can see that from a distance, that's Pepper's mustache right there. Oh yeah, there, we got the reference too. Perfect, we got a couple of flags in there to denote that this is Pepper's, uh, Pepper's place. He's, he's the, he's the dictator of this place. I mean, the, 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 the president, the, the, the president, yeah, or the mayor, whatever. Yeah, nice. <laughs> All 
Alright, but thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed and you're not subscribed, make sure to subscribe. And uh, if you are, make sure to leave a like. <laughs> and uh, yeah, thank you for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one. Laters!